We are going to solve a proof in order to prove lines parallel. And in this proof, we are given that angle 2 is congruent to angle 1, angle 1 is congruent to angle 3, and we need to prove that AB and CD will end up being parallel. Now, as we have done this before, we have always said when you do your proofs, you make a statement reason table, you label your numbers 1 and 1 directly across from each other. And we always start off with a piece of given information. In this case, our first given is that angle 2 is congruent to angle 1. And the reason is given. Now after I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark angle 2 and angle 1 congruent in my picture. The next thing then, on line 2, I'm going to put my next piece of given information, angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Angle 1 and angle 3 will have the same markings in them, and the reason is that they are given. Step 3, then, I need to look back at steps 1 and 2 and figure out what I can do with those two statements. And one of the properties that we've dealt with here just recently is the transitive property. And with the transitive property, transitive property is a property of order. It says if A equals B, but B equals another thing, we could say that A and C are equal. So if A is equal to B and B is equal to C, then A equals C. And we do the same thing. We did this with an inequality and with a congruent sign. If A is congruent to B and B is congruent to C, then A is congruent to C. So angle 2 is congruent to angle 3 by transitive property. Now once we have angles 2 and 3 congruent, what we can say is, because angles 2 and angle 3, angle 2 and angle 3 are alternate interior angles, we are going to end up with parallel lines. AB is parallel to CD because if alternate interior angles are equal or congruent, then the lines are parallel.